Welcome to Altair Engineering Training and Support. I am Apoor Bapad. Welcome you all in a dynamic crash analysis of roll cage training series. In this uh, training series, I am going to show you how to simulate or analyze the roll cage uh, for dynamic analysis for Baha Supra, FSI, Mini Baha, BSI, FSI. There are uh, all for all these types of uh, roll cages. The process is same. We will, in this video, I am going to show you, in this complete series, actually I am going to show you uh, the use of radios, hypermesh, hyperview. Uh, I am going to cover uh, version 11, 12 and 13. The process is quite similar for uh, 12 and 13. There is a slight difference in the process for version 11. So, the topics which I am going to cover in this entire training series is, are as follows. I am going to show you first uh, in today's session, uh, which is the day one, uh, is I am going to show you how to do 2D meshing and quality checks for dynamic analysis. Uh, the prerequisite, uh, the prerequisite for this is you should have a roll cage ready, the 2D surface roll cage ready with the complete mid surface, and all the pipes have to be connected. These are the prerequisite to get into the day one. Uh, I have covered in some of the videos how to do the geometry editing uh, for 2D meshing. You can go through th those videos first and create a proper geometry of the roll cage and then you can uh, continue with this uh, for the dynamic analysis. Then in the later session, I'm going to show you the front impact, side impact, rear impact uh, when we have a pipes of different thicknesses in version 12 and 13. I'm going to use 13, but the process will be same for version 12. Then from day 5 to 6, I'm going to show you the front side rear impact dynamic analysis using version 11 for the pipes having different thicknesses. From day 8 to day 11, I'm going to show you uh, the front side rear impact when the pipes of same thickness, there's nothing more changes in that. Then on day 11, 12, 13, I'm going to show you the front impact analysis of roll cage when the pipes have different thickness considering the impact between two vehicles. In front first uh, two, uh, day 2 to day 10, I am going to show you the impact from the rigid wall. So the roll cage is impacting the rigid wall. But on day 11, 12 and 13, I am going to show you if your roll cage is impacting another roll cage, then what are the values at all. So let's start with opening of uh, hyper mesh version 13 so go to all programs altair hyperworks version 13 open hypermesh if you are using hyperworks student in 13 then you open hyperworks once you click on hyperworks it will open hypermesh but you are using the full version then you click on hypermesh it opens the gui of hypermesh So once you open the hypermesh GUI, I will open uh, version 12.2. So you will find that there is no much difference in the process. Everything is same. So you have to select the user profile as radius for the dynamic analysis. Earlier you might be using the user profile as OptiStruct for linear static analysis. So for dynamic crash analysis, you have to select the user profile as radios this bulk data the whatever the bulk data it is showing is the current version so whatever version you are using accordingly it will give you the block 120 or block 110 block 100 these are the different versions so you select the latest one which you have similarly here you can see here also we have block 120 or block 110 so whatever you want to select, you can select. Now in uh, I'm using uh, Hypermesh version 13 radius block 120 format. This is the user profile I have I am selected. So now we will browse the file. So, while you import, sometimes you see the file like this. So once you click on this icon that is shaded geometry and surface edge, 
you can see the surfaces it comes in a line or a wireframe mode so you can op open this like this select the mixed as the view for the surfaces so that you can see the surface lines as well as the geometries both now you can see in this component i will first before doing anything i will first do some of the geometry cleanup thing here or making my complete structured uh, process in a structured way so i have different components here so what i will do i will create a new component as a roll cage primary so here i am going to show you if you have pipes of different thicknesses so how you can use them to solve your model so i will first create this and say create similarly i will create one more as roll cage secondary defining a different color maybe this is much better or this one create now i will press shift f11 from my keyboard and will get to a assign component assign model and i will assign the surfaces so i'll make this as the secondary just increasing the thickness if you have a mesh already there with you where you have uh, the secondary and primary members so you don't need to do this step again i am just showing if you have a single member uh, if you have a single structure and if you want to simulate uh, the process when you have two different structures then you follow this process so i will move this similarly i will select the primary one turn off this secondary okay i am left with this one so i will again go to secondary and move this okay this is done so you can see i have moved everything here now i will move uh, all the things to primary so now i don't want these components so i have two components as you can see one is secondary one is primary before going further i will click return again click return so before going further make sure uh, to enter whatever names you are going to enter if you want the space between two names enter that instead of that space enter underscore you can see here entirely in for the complete process don't use space or dot to segregate between the two points like if if you want to enter uh, the name it as uh, secondary pipe 1.65 thickness so and en instead of entering 1.65 enter 1 underscore 65 thickness so you will understand that it is of 1.65 thickness because if you give space or dot the radius solver may give you error so to lower down the error you save this file without space wherever you are entering whatever name don't use space anywhere during the entire process not even saving the file so i will uh, follow the same process i will create the material property and update the component but here this time uh, it is a bit different than the a regular one uh, so i will show you the complete entire process uh, i'll start with material i'll go to create material enter the material name as steel define a color select the type as elastoplastic material type then card images m2 plus johns the first card image and click on create edit so here we have to enter the number of parameters so i will start with entering the value of row initial 7.89 e to the power minus 9 tons per mm cube 
e is 2.1 e to the power plus 5 newton per mm square nu is 0.3 which is unitless a is here a stands for yield stress which is 180 you can find the values for whatever material you are using you can find these values in on google or uh, in the strength of material book then b is hardening parameter i will enter 230 n is hardening exponent which i will enter 0.2 right now i will i am not going to enter the value of eps max which is the failure plastic strain so if i enter the value of eps max then i can see the crushing effect but if i don't want to see the crushing effect i will not enter the eps max you can this is the iterative uh, process uh, or iterative value generally uh, we take 0.3 0.4 as the uh, eps max that is a 3% of the deformation so whatever deformation happen 3% of that uh, happens so that the elements will start breaking down so i will not enter this and i will enter the sigma maximum which is the ultimate stress so for in dynamic analysis these are the values in material which you have to enter to solve this value uh, solve this model in for the dynamic analysis uh, the sigma as you can see i have given the ultimate stress so there is no factor of safety will come in the picture because it will not never ever going to cross the ultimate stress it is always going to be under the ultimate stress so i'll click return again i will click return then i'll go to the property collector that is the next step i will create here two properties one as primary select the type as surface card image as p1 shell enter the thickness let's assume i will i'll enter the thickness i'll name it as primary 2.1 so i will enter here 2.1 see here instead of 2.1 i will enter 2 underscore 1 click on create edit here we will provide some of the parameters the first one is i shell which is the which defines the type of formulation we are giving asking him to create the highest possible formulation then n n stands for number of integration points so as in static analysis there are according to the type of uh, shape of the element there are integration points like in first order quad it is having uh, four integration points like in second order quad it is having eight integration points but in dynamic we define the number of integration points so if you don't define the thickness earlier define the thickness here by default take these values for whatever type or uh, roll cage of analysis you are performing now i will create one more uh for secondary i will take like uh, 3.3 underscore 3 again surface p1 shell and thickness as 3.3 create edit entering the same value return and return now i will update the component roll cage primary enter the card images part for dynamic analysis if you are using the rigids in the component then don't enter the value of as card image as part but apart from rigid whatever the type of element you are using select the card image as part otherwise you will get an error while you are solving the radius then select the property primary material as steel update then secondary again card image as part property as secondary card image as steel update so now i have defined the material property and component now i will move for the meshing uh so i'll go to 2d on 2d i will click on auto mesh so i'll go to auto mesh select all the surface so select surfaces all 
enter the uh, select the radio button instead of size and bias i will select the radio button as qi optimize because in dynamic analysis i want the minimum element size uh, length criteria of the element to be specified because uh, if your element size is very very less so it will take very long time to solve the model if your element type size is very big it will take lesser time to solve so i am not taking very big or very small so i will take the average element size which is 4 so general in industrial practice it is uh, recommended that between 3.5 to 5 uh, the minimum length should be it is not less than that it can be higher than that so if it's less than that then it should come between 3.5 to 5 so my recommendation to you everyone is it should be more than 4 mm so that it will uh, you will get the results faster because radios will take more time to solve as compared to static so i'll click on element size of 7 and edit the criteria from here if I go to 12, hypermesh 12, auto mesh, I'll also see the same parameters here. So there is no difference in version 12 and 13. So I will select the target element size as 7, minimum element size to be 4. I will keep the aspect ratios as uh, 10 is good. Warpage I can put as 20. The maximum uh, quad angle 140 is okay. The minimum is I can take that to 20. 140 for minimum angle triad uh, is good. Then minimum angle, maximum angle triad 140 is good. Minimum angle triad 10 I can take. Jacobian I can take up to 0.4. Percentage of triads I will put as 5% so that all the points should be more than uh, 5. Apply and okay. Then I will uh, toggle here to element to surface component. I have surfaces in two different components. One is secondary, one is primary. So if I put it current, so everything will go in the roll gauge secondary, all the elements. So I have to put it elements to surface components. So uh, as per the surface, in which component the surface is, my elements will go in that component directly. I will select first order because I don't want to do second order meshing. Uh, I'll get and the keep connectivity as it is and click on mesh so once you click on mesh as i have given some of the criteria to be fulfilled so this will take some time before it generates the mesh so make sure you give all these parameters this is an iterative process it is not 100 percent like you give this parameter and you get that uh, result because it depends on your geometry if the geometry distortion is very high it will not try to satisfy all the criteria given it is it will definitely try to mesh it even violating the criteria which you have given so make sure your geometry is absolutely connected and properly uh, surfaced everything is done there is no red edges no yellow edges on the geometry there is no free uh, pipes the connection is, uh, should be proper the pipe distortion should not be there you have to first make sure everything before coming into the meshing portion. So this will take some time before it, it uh, gives us the uh, meshed elements. So at the bottom of my screen you can see it is continuously telling what is going on. So you can see I got a meshing here. I turn off the surface these icons are for surfaces so I turn off the surfaces you can see so I got a decent meshing now we will go for the quality checks before I will count the number of nodes so you can see the number of nodes is 52,000 so it is quite high so it's good mesh now we will go for the elements quality so either you can go to tools check elements or you can press f10 from your keyboard both through both the options you will get into the same panel select the radio button as 2d my aim is to get the length more than 4 so currently 49 elements are failing or having the length less than 4 
so I will click on this length so that will highlight 49 elements then click on save field so it will save those highlighted elements then I will get to mask from the drop down I will select elements click on the yellow box where the element is written click on retrieve again click on yellow box click on reverse and say mask so this will highlight those elements which are having the length less than 0.4 so I will press shift F2 from my keyboard shift left mouse button and drag it so it will select the nodes of those elements and click on add so it will add the nodes then I will click on this icon to unmask all if you are not able to uh, view this icon press F5 from your keyboard to get into the mask panel and click on unmask all click return click return so now uh, these are the points whose length is less than 0.4 sorry uh, 4 mm or 4 you can say not mm so what I will do I will have a multiple ways of solving this so I will show you all of them one way is if the length is very less delete the elements sharing the common length press F3 from your keyboard select this node and this node so it will equivalence these nodes then press F6 from your keyboard go to create triad make the one on which you want the element as current select these nodes so it creates an element it is as simple as that and you can combine these so it will get into the quad similarly you can combine this and combine this so shift F2 I will clear this here as you can see I cannot delete these elements and I cannot merge them so I will try one more different way of doing it I will go to elements increase the element size to 10 click on mesh so it's removed that then shift F2 clear every time you have to clear the nodes which you have created earlier so that you will come to know what are the elements left behind so I will try to remesh this portion So you can see remeshing is not a op good option here. So what I will do is I will uh, press F4 from my keyboard. Check this length which is uh, 3.4 so I will increase this 4.2. Similarly here 4.3. Similarly this one 4.5. And I will check if it's still failing yes if it, it is still failing so I will have a 4 as 4.2 or you can decrease the value here because it is uh, getting there also so we'll check this is Four point two. Similarly, from here to here is four point two. From here to here, it's fine. Then again, I will check length. This one is still failing, so I will increase the distance a bit more.
that's 10 length then f10 length so now you can see uh, the elements which it was failing earlier now it's solved so i will press shift f2 select these nodes and say clear don't click on clear all otherwise all the nodes uh, which you have highlighted earlier will go out so only select those nodes so first try with the remeshing option Currently, it doesn't give a good value, so I will select more number of elements. So I think now it is solved. I will check. This is failing. So I will press F4, make it 6, F10, so now it is solved, so I will select these nodes, these are the temporary nodes, I am again repeating, I have to remove these nodes because if I want to see the areas where my element is failing, I have to do that, so I will delete this, F6, create, Raya using these nodes F10 length this is failing in length so F4 here to here I will decrease the distance to it only the blue node will move so make sure uh, the node which you want to move is the blue color node other nodes will not move so clear F is to fit to screen Similarly here, I will delete these elements, F3, I will merge these two elements, F6, I will create new element, F10, check the length, done, clear. here let's see f12 will start with the remeshing so improving the quality is an hit and trial method you have to uh, go through three four methods and finalize one it is not like uh, you select the one and you get the results so f10 these two elements are failing. F12 we will remesh them locally and try to see how it goes. Again F10. So no element is failing. Clear. Then here you can say F12 select these elements. then select only these elements so now uh, what I can do here uh, I can first uh, if, I, if I delete these elements uh, it will not going to work well so let's remesh this portion but it is not uh, getting proper remeshed okay so till here it is solved so i will check the length so some of the elements are uh, failing majority of this 
is this so I have 4 4.2 4 4.2 3 4.2 now I will check still uh, some of the elements are failing so 4.2 4.2 4.2 it should be more than 4 it should not be like just 4 again I will check so these these are the elements which are failing I will again increase the length a bit more 4.3 4 4.5 4.5 it's good four point five F ten click on length so now only these two elements are failing so f4 these two 4.5 f10 length still it is failing the minimum length here if i click on this element is coming as 3.75 so f4 f4 I will again increase the length check still it is failing f4 from here to here 7 f4 from here to here 4.5 length I will try to remesh this F10 length so these are again failing oh, oh I click on clear all ok no issues again length so 34 elements are failing F10 click on length minimum length uh, there is two you can see the symbol the first one is the minimum safe field F5 elements retrieve reverse mask shift F2 add F5 unmask all Now I have one more option which is quality index. So uh, I don't want these parameters to be shown. It is computing the corridor deviation. So this may take some time if I, uh, as I have by mistake click on that order de deviation. Okay, so now I have turned off everything. So I will uh, go to the page number 3, clean up tools, element optimize and click on the nearby elements so this will help me to solve these 
meshings properly sometimes it will not solve it completely so you have to just keep it as it is but this will reduce your time so i have the nodes ready with me where it is it was showing errors so on those elements which it is not solving we will see and solve them manually so i will come out of it press shift f2 clear all f10 length now the 17 elements are failing so save fail mask elements retrieve reverse mask shift f2 add then unmask all again i will go to the 2D quality index. then shift f2 clear all f10 length five elements are failing save fail mask elements retrieve reverse mask shift f2 select the nodes add unmask all so 2d quality index Okay, we will solve this manually. We'll come to here. This also we can solve the manually thing. It is not solving. We will check with this. So these are the few which we have to solve manually. So we'll go to uh, with the original one by editing the mesh. So we will see how this will affect if we edit the elements. so i can go with the f6 split elements select this element split point this to this combine these two chords so i have created a chord element instead of triya so f10 length so this element is failing in length so what i can do is i can again go to f6 select this element point from here to here split and combine these two to quad and i will check length so this is failing in length so now we will uh, press f4 4.5 length this is failing 
एफ फोर एफ फोर फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर फोर पॉइंट टू फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर ऑल्सो यू वी कैन चेक फ्रॉम दिस नोट टू दिस नोट इट्स फेयर इन एफ टेन सो दिस एलिमेंट इज स्टिल फेलिंग सो दिस नोट टू दिस नोट इट्स फाइव दिस टू दिस सेल पुट इट सिक्स अ बिट मोर एंड सिक्स ईयर एफ टेन सो दिस हेज बीन सॉल्व क्लियर so now this was earlier it was failing so i will press f4 from this to this 5 from this to this 5 from here to here 5 from here to here 5 from this to this 5 F10 length. It is also not failing, so I will uh, select these nodes. Clear. Now this one. So I will, uh, as you can see, the meshing is not very well here. So I will uh, first try to do the remeshing. With the help of remeshing, if I am able to solve this. issue then it's fine otherwise i will uh, manually try to solve this so here you can see we can do some these types of geometry editing to make the meshing more perfect similarly here also again f10 10 elements are failing all are here so f4 from here to here so this i want 4.5 or uh, Four point five. F ten length. Okay, this has been solved. Again, F four from here to here. Four. Four point five. F ten. F four from this node to this node. Four point five. This node to this node, four point five. This node to this node, six. F ten. So this has been solved. We will try to solve the upper ones. Five point two. Five point two. Similarly, from this end to this end, four point five. 
this end to this end 4.2 so this is this has increased similarly f10 length only this one is failing now so f4 this node to this node 5.2 f10 still one element so i will uh, go to uh, 2d quality index try to solve it with this so f10 length now you can see all the elements what i have is more than 4 mm or the minimum length here you can see is 4 so i'll check with the aspect ratio is perfectly fine warp page is perfect 41 i'll accept it minimum angle 16 i will accept maximum angle 123 is good 29 okay 143 is okay jacobian 0.46 is okay no issues then i will go for shift f3 i will press shift f3 from the keyboard from the drop down i will select elements all enter the tolerance value as 0.1 preview equivalence equivalence and find edges so no edges were found selected and elements may enclose the volume so now you can see my meshing portion is done completely and uh, there are no uh, elements quality error in this so now in the next video i'm going i'll go further using this mesh how to create the solver deck for front impact analysis so thank you very much for watching this video if you have any queries or issues related to the mesh qualities or editing the mesh feel free to contact us uh, via apu.bapa.aldia.com or you can contact us at edu-support at india.aldia.com Thank you very much for attending this video.